The 2011 IIHF World Championship was the 75th IIHF World Championship, an annual international men's ice hockey tournament. It took place between 29 April and 15 May 2011 in Slovakia. The games were played in the Orange Arena in Bratislava, and the Steel Arena in Kosis. The Czech team was the defending champion. This was the first time the independent Slovakia hosted the World Championships. However, this was the third time that Bratislava co-hosted the World Championships. The first two times were 1959 and 1992, each time with Prague, and while part of Czechoslovakia. Finland won the gold medal after beating Sweden in the final 6-1. This was the second title for Finland. Topic. Tournament format The tournament is divided into four stages. The preliminary round, qualification round and relegation round use a round-robin format with each team playing every other team in its group once. The winner of a game in regulation time will earn three points, with the loser earning zero points. The winner of a game decided in overtime or in a shootout will be awarded two points, with the loser getting one point. Teams in the preliminary round are divided into four groups of four teams each. The last place team in each group moves to the relegation round while the remainder move to the qualification round. The qualification round is divided into two groups of six teams each with the top four teams in each group moving to the playoff round. Games played in the preliminary round against teams in the same qualification round group count for the qualification round standings, therefore, teams who were previously in the same preliminary round group do not play each other again in the qualification round. The relegation round is a single group of four teams with the bottom two teams being relegated to Division I of the World Championships. The tournament concludes with the playoff round, which is an eight-team tournament, to determine the winners of the gold, silver and bronze medals. In the event of a tie in points at the conclusion of the preliminary, qualification or relegation rounds, the following tiebreaker format will be used. Points earned in games against tied teams. Goal differential in games against tied teams. Highest number of goals in games against tied teams. Repetition of steps 1, 2 and 3, in order, including results against the next closest ranked team to the tied teams. Repetition of step 4, including the next closest ranked teams one at a time. 2010 IIHF World Ranking. Topic. Rosters. Each team's roster for the 2011 IIHF World Championship consists of at least 15 skaters forwards, and defensemen and two goaltenders, and at most 20 skaters and three goaltenders. All 16 participating nations, through the confirmation of their respective national associations, had to submit a roster by the first IIHF Directorate meeting on 28 April 2011. Topic Summary Topic Preliminary Round The first game day in Group A started with an upset, when Germany went on to win 2-0 against Russia after goals from Thomas Grelinger in the second period and Patrick Reimer, who decided the game with a goal two minutes before the final horn. It was the first win for the German team over Russia in a world championship and the first one since the 1994 Winter Olympics in Lillehammer. After the second game day, the group was decided in the outcome who advances and who would battle against relegation. Germany pulled another surprise victory over host Slovakia. After being down 4 0, Slovakia started a comeback but could only cut the deficit to 1, losing by a final of 4 3. 
Germany was the group winner and advanced alongside Slovakia and Russia into the second round, while Slovenia finished fourth and went to the relegation round. The last time Germany won a preliminary round group was 78 years ago, in 1933. Group B saw the first overtime of the tournament in a game between Switzerland and France. Julian Vauclair scored the decisive goal after 146 minutes played in overtime. Canada defeated Switzerland after overtime to capture first place, while France won against Belarus to go through to the qualifying round and sent Belarus to the relegation round. In Group C, Sweden played against Norway and it was a back and forth game. Sweden went up 3-2-1 in the first period, but Norway fought back and at the end it was 4-4 after 60 minutes. The overtime went scoreless and so it went into a shootout, Per Age Skroder scored on the first try for Norway and Eriksson missed on the first for Sweden and so Norway won 5-4, making it their first win against the Scandinavian rival in World Championship history. Sweden and the U.S. team both got their second wins as the United States came back from being down 0-2 to win 4-2 against Norway. On the last game day, Sweden captured the top seed in the group after a 6-2 win over the USA. Norway followed those two in the qualifying round after a 5-0 win over Austria, who found themselves in the relegation round. Group D saw two wins from the respective favourites at the start, Finland and the Czech Republic. The picture was the same on the second game day, though Finland needed a shootout against Latvia to win 3-2. Jarko Immonen scored the game-winning goal. Denmark needed a win over Latvia to advance and they got one after a shootout, 3-2 was the end result, Latvia then saw themselves facing the relegation. Topic. Qualifying round Every game in Group E was close, each was decided by one goal. The Czech team was still perfect after their fifth win, defeating Russia 3-2. Alongside them, Germany, Russia and Finland qualified for the quarter-finals and the Czech team was set to win the group with one more game to play. The host Slovakia was eliminated after losing to Finland 1-2. After the last game day, the Czech team was still perfect after winning 5-2 against Germany. In Group F, Canada and Sweden played each other to determine the group winner, and the United States also qualified for the quarterfinals. Switzerland and Norway played for the last spot in the final round as Norway will face France which are already eliminated before their last game. Switzerland won 5-3 against the United States but they were still eliminated because Norway defeated France 5-2 to advance to the quarter-finals. <inaudible> Relegation round After two game days in Group G every team had three points and so the last two games determined the two teams going down and the two that remained in the top division for the next year. Slovenia faced Belarus, while Latvia played against Austria. Belarus crushed Slovenia into the Division A with a 7-1 win to stay in the top division. Austria joined Slovenia in the second division after losing against Latvia 1-4. Topic. Playoff round Topic. Quarter finals The quarter finals started with the undefeated Czech Republic against Team USA. The United States started off better but Jaromir Jager scored for the Czechs to take a 1-0 into the first intermission. Jager scored the second goal during a 5-on-3 power play after a strong shot from the right side. The third goal came after a good combination over the whole ice leading to a goal by Tomas Plekanec. 
Yager became the man of the match after he scored his third goal four minutes before the end during another power play and the game ended in a comfortable 4-0 win for the Czech Republic. In the evening game, Sweden took on Germany and scored the first goal in the first minute by Martin Thornberg. Germany came right back and tied the game after two minutes as Alexander Barta was credited with the goal. Both teams had chances during the first period but Sweden took the 2-1 lead into the intermission. In the second period Sweden went up 4-1 before Germany came closer by going 2-4 in the last break. Sweden scored a goal in the last period which was disallowed because a whistle occurred before the goal was scored, however Thornberg scored his second goal of the night shortly after and Sweden won 5-2 at the end. Both, Thornberg and Berglund were credited with three points. Day two of the quarterfinals started with a Nordic matchup as Finland faced Norway. After a scoreless opening period, Norway took the lead after Ken Andre Alim scored on a penalty shot. Five minutes later, Finland had the lead after two quick goals. Jarko Immonen scored his second goal to give Finland a two-goal lead before Jani Lejunen scored to make it 4-1 for the Finnish squad. Three of those four goals were scored during a power play. The third and last period went scoreless again and so Finland won 4-1. Michael Granlund scored two points in the game alongside Immonen. The last game of the quarterfinal round brought up a rivalry between Russia and Team Canada. Jason Spezza seemed to be the hero after he scored the first goal after 25 minutes and the lead held into the last period, when Alexei Kaigorodov went on his way to score the equaliser shorthanded, he went by two defenders to put the puck high into the Canadian net. Three minutes later, Ilya Kovalchuk scored to give Russia the lead. Canada pulled the goalie with a minute to go but they did not score, and Russia won the game 2-1. Topic. Semi-finals The first semi-final was the matchup between the favourite and defending champion, the Czech Republic against Sweden. After the first period went scoreless Patrick Elias brought the lead to the Czechs after just 46 seconds into the second period. Sweden struck back twice with goals from Patrick Berglund and Michael Backlund to take a one-goal lead into the last intermission. Jimmy Eriksson and Marcus Kruger scored to increase Sweden's lead to 4-1. Six minutes before the end, Elias scored his second goal and the Czechs gained hope again. They pulled their goaltender with under a minute to go but Sweden's Berglund scored an empty net goal. The Czech Republic was eliminated and Sweden advanced to the final with a 5-2 win. In the evening game of the semi-finals Finland played against Russia. Despite having a so-so tournament so far the Russian team qualified for this late stage of it. Konstantin Barulin was again the goaltender instead of Yevgeny Nabokov and the first period ended scoreless. Michael Granlund scored an airhook goal to take the Finnish team into a 1-0 lead in the second period. The goal has been noted by multiple media outlets worldwide as the finest goal in the tournament, and as one of the finest in the history of international hockey. In the last period Yanni Lejunin scored the second goal before Immanen decided the game with the 3-0 goal, assisted by Granlund. Both players received their second point in the game. Topic. Bronze medal game The Czech Republic took on Russia for the bronze medal. The first period was a wild one ending in a 3-2 advantage for the Russian team while Ilya Kovalchuk scored two goals. The second period belonged to the Czech team after Petr Prucha scored his second point and Roman Chervenka his second goal in the game. After the lead grew to 5-3 Vladimir Tarasenko brought Russia back into the game making it a one-goal game before the last period. After January Marek scored to make it 6-4, the Russian team pulled their goalie with two minutes to go. 
The Czechs Tomas Plekanec scored an empty net goal to decide the game and give the Czech Republic the bronze medal after winning 7-4. Topic. Gold medal game The gold medal game was played between Sweden and Finland at the Orange Arena on 15 May after a goal-less first period, Sweden opened the game with a 1-0 goal by Magnus Pejajarvi in the second period at 27-40. Seven seconds before the period's end, Finland's Jarko Immonen scored to tie the game 1-1. Finland took the lead early in the third period, scoring two goals at 42-35 and 43-21 by Nokalainen and Kapanen. Sweden took a timeout before the last period's half but did not manage to regroup, and the tournament was decided by a clear 6-1 victory to Finland by Jana Pesinens, Mika Puralas and Pilström goals. Topic. Host selection Four nations, all located in Europe placed formal bids to host the 2011 IIHF World Championship. Those nations were Slovakia Sweden Hungary Finland Finland withdrew from bidding before voting began in order to apply for the 2012 World Championship. Finland and Sweden would both later win respective bids to host in 2012 and 2013, but this decision was later changed instead for the two Nordic countries to be joint hosts of the 2012 and 2013 IIHF World Championship editions. After one round of voting, the winning bid was announced by IIHF President René Fossil on 19 May 2006, at the Delegates Congress of the International Ice Hockey Federation in Riga. Latvia. Slovakia's bidding cities received 70 votes, followed by the Swedish bid cities of Stockholm, and Gothenburg with 20 votes, and finally the Hungarian bid with 14 votes. The required 50% of the vote had been attained in the first round, which finalized Slovakia's successful bid. Ivan Gasparovic, the president of Slovakia, was instrumental in Slovakia winning its successful bid, as he came in person to the Delegates' Congress in Riga to endorse his country's bid, and convince the IIHF delegates of the viability of Slovakia. Gasparovic is himself an avid hockey fan and past vice president of the Slovak Extraliga team, HC Slovan Bratislava. Topic. Voting results Finland withdrew from the 2011 bid prior to the start of the Congress, postponed 2012. Topic. Promotions Topic. Official song Song Life is a game by Slovak singer Kristina was officially released on 18 March. Topic. Mascot Guli is the official mascot of the tournament. Guli is a grey wolf, and Igor Nemesik, the 2011 IIHF World Championship General Director, said he was chosen because Wolves are animals which are typically Slovak, evoking our forests and countryside. Over 14,000 entries were submitted for a national contest to name the mascot organized in association with Radio Express and the Slovak Ice Hockey Federation. It is a word play on the Slovak words for goal, and or goals Slovak, goal, goalie. Guli, the mascot, was subjected to considerable ridicule in the English-speaking world because Guli is a well-known slang term for a testicle. Topic. Motto Slovenska Republika. Hokejova Republika. Slovak Republic. Hockey Republic. 
Topic: Ambassadors. The official ambassadors of the 2011 IIHF World Championship Slovakia are Slovak hockey players Peter Bondra, Zdeno Chara, Marian Gabaric, Lubomir Vishnovsky, Pavel Dimitra, Jozef Stumpel, Marian Hosa, Miroslav Satan and Slovak President Ivan Gasparovic. Topic. Venues. The Orange Arena in Bratislava, also known as the Andre Nepola Arena, was substantially upgraded for the championship, in line with IIHF, Slovak, and international specifications, largely funded by the Slovakian government. Construction began on 23 April 2009 and was completed on 30 November 2010. More than 65 million euros, 90 million dollars USD, was spent to install a new roof, modernize facilities, build two new adjacent practice arenas, and bring the seating from 8,350 to 10,000. The Steel Arena, also known as the Ladislav Trojic Arena, which was newly constructed in 2006, had a new 11 million euros practice rink built adjacent, between April 2009 and February 2010 for the World Championship legacy of future hockey development in Slovakia. The stadium would have the name Orange Arena, but only for the time of World Championship 2011 the 29th of April 2011 to the 15th of May 2011 both arenas were known by their Slovak honorific titles during the 2011 World Championship to correspond with IIHF neutral non-inclusive sponsorship rules. Samsung Arena as the Andre Nepola Arena, and Steel Arena as the Ladislav Trojic Arena. Topic. Nations The following 16 nations qualified for the Elite Pool Tournament. 14 nations from Europe, and two nations from North America were represented. Topic. Seeding and groups The seeding in the preliminary round was based on the 2010 IIHF World Ranking, which ends at the conclusion of the 2010 IIHF World Championship. The 2010 Olympics were included. The teams were grouped accordingly by seeding in parenthesis as the corresponding World Ranking. Topic. Preliminary round. 16 participating teams were placed in the following four groups. After playing a round robin, the top three teams in each group advanced to the qualifying round. The last team in each group competes in the relegation round. Groups A and D played in Bratislava, and groups B and C played in Kosis. Topic. Group A. All times are local UTC plus 2. Topic. Group B. All times are local UTC plus 2. Topic. Group C. All times are local UTC plus 2. Topic. Group D. All times are local UTC plus 2. Topic. Qualifying round. The top three teams from each group of the preliminary round advanced to the qualifying round. They were placed into two groups, teams from Groups A and D were placed into Group E, while teams from Groups B and C were placed into Group F. Every team kept the points from preliminary round matches against teams who also advanced. 
The teams played a single round robin, but didn't play against teams that they had already met in preliminary groups. The top four teams in both groups E and F advanced to the playoff round. Topic. Group E All times are local UTC plus 2 Topic. Group F All times are local UTC plus 2 Topic. Relegation round The bottom team in the standings from each group of the preliminary round plays in the relegation round. The bottom two teams in the relegation round move down to Division 1 for the 2012 World Championship. Topic. Group G All times are local UTC plus 2. Topic. Playoff round Topic. Quarter finals All times are local UTC plus 2 Topic. Semi finals All times are local UTC plus 2 Topic Bronze medal game Time is local UTC plus 2 Topic Gold medal game Time is local UTC plus 2 Topic. Ranking and statistics Topic. Final standings The final standings of the tournament according to IIHF Topic. Scoring leaders List shows the top skaters sorted by points, then goals. If the list exceeds 10 skaters because of a tie in points, all of the tied skaters are shown. GP Topic. Games played, G Goals, A uh. Topic. Assists, PTs. Points, plus, minus. Topic. Plus, minus, PIM. Penalties in minutes, POS equals position. Source, IIHF. Com. Topic. Leading goaltenders Only the top five goaltenders, based on save percentage, who have played 40% of their team's minutes, are included in this list. Toy Topic. Time on ice Minutes, seconds, saw Shots against, GA. Topic. Goals against, GAA. Goals against average, SV percent. Topic. Save percentage, SO. Shutouts. Source, IIHF. Com. Topic. Officials. 
The IIHF selected 16 referees and 16 linesmen to work the 2011 IIHF World Championship. They are the following. Topic. IIHF Broadcasting Rights <laughs>